If you're anything like me, you have a bunch of DVDs laying around and you want to watch them. But you don't have a DVD player, so the only thing you can watch them on is your computer. And you're hard to please, just like me. So you don't want to watch them on your computer. You want to watch them on an actual TV. Uh, you don't have a DVD player, and so you were thinking of maybe modding your Wii. Uh, but then you find that even though the Homebrew channel is supposed to come with DVD-X, a mod to make your DVD Wii play DVDs, still doesn't work. So I'll demonstrate that it doesn't work. Go to the Wii Media Center. And uh, after it's booted up, you take a DVD. Flight of the Concords is what I'm taking. Put it into the Wii disk drive. And it shows data DVD. But you try to start it up. And it says it's incompatible or unsupported. So, uh, what I found out is you can get a disc reader. You might be thinking, well, I may as well just get a DVD player, but a disc reader should be cheaper. It's more portable. And, uh, you know, it's just cheaper and portable. So, if you plug it into the back of your Wii, like this, it usually has... Uh, two USB cables. I'm not sure if it matters which way you put them in because it worked the first try for me. I'm not sure if it all it just uses the USB 1 slot or not. I think it might use both USB slots, so I think you're pretty safe uh, putting them in, in whatever order you need. So you put the, you pop the disc in to the DVD reader that you have hooked up to your Wii. And then, uh, I'm not sure it'll work, uh, cause I found, yeah, so you need to start the app, oh, no, okay, uh, for me, I was having trouble earlier, where you had to exit the app and then start it back up again to actually, uh, see the disc, but no, it works, so you go to the disc, it'll show up as USB and then whatever the disc name is, go to Video TS. And then VTS underscore zero one underscore zero. And then it'll take a little bit and you'll see your disc reader going at it. And then bam. So uh, I'm going to give you one fair word of warning. I'm not sure if this is because I'm using a... I'm not sure if it's because I'm using a disc reader or not. Uh, but with video zero zero or whatever it was called... You will start at the very beginning of the DVD, so if you have to wait through advertisements on a regular DVD player, you still have to do it with this. You can skip through them, though. And then you'll notice when the menu comes up, there's no bar showing you how far you are through it, showing that you are through a menu. Uh, so we just wait. So this is where things get tricky. Menus, since they weren't made to work with a Wii, work really weird because for whatever reason the people who made this program want you to use your pointer so for this one just to show you how much you have to learn how to go through each individual menu depending on which disc you're using you have to tap episodes with just the tip of the finger tap what episode you want with just the tip of the finger and then for actual play episode you have to go way down below it and then hit a and then the Wii will freeze for a little bit, but you can see the disc reader going at it and give it its time. I've moved the Wii remote away from it, but the finger's still there, as you can see. Now it'll go black, and then it'll start to play your show. So what did Hamish do? You gonna get a new tractor? Yeah, well, you probably should, not He lives in the city. No, so, yeah. It's not that dangerous. Uh... This should work for any regular DVD you want. I've already tested it. Even though this is a Blu-ray reader, it does not work with Blu-ray. So it has to be a regular DVD. But yeah, there you go. Now you can do it without a mod chip. You can do it without having to download all those extra iOSs, which I tried and didn't work. 
So there you go. That's how you do it.